So this will be a quick tutorial on how to get Toy Story 2 running on your PC, um, including modern PCs, especially with that unable to enumerate device error that's very common. Um, a lot of people have said a lot of different things on how to get it running, but this is um, by far the best way I've found out so far. So basically just go to the description, click on that link, and then um, it will bring you to a page or, or a mirror for the same file, and then uh, download this file. Now, I already have this file, so I don't need to go through and re-download this whole thing. But it'll just give you uh, this same exact zip file here. So once you get it downloaded, just go ahead and extract it. Um, you don't have to extract it using WinRAR. You can just use Windows built-in, whatever. It's just a normal zip file there. Now, once you've extracted it, it'll just be in a folder like this. And so just open the folder and then just run the install.exe. And that'll go ahead and start the whole process there. Basically, this is a modified installer that I've created um, specifically for uh, this Toy Story 2 to hopefully um, do a few different things, some of which is some compatibility bits to be able to run this uh, better on modern PCs. So, give this a second here and the setup will start. Alright, as you can see the installer is basically just telling us to just go through the installation like normal for now. So that's what we'll do. Um, yeah, it looks a little different because obviously like I said I, I modified this installer. Um, but we'll just kind of go through it. And you have two options. You can install to the default directory which is just your program files or you can choose a directory of your own. Um, either or doesn't really matter Which for this purposes of this. I'll just install it to the default directory here. Now it'll go through and copy all the files. Then once it finishes copying the files, it'll kind of look like the installer froze right here on the screen. Um, but it's actually not frozen. It just takes about uh, like a minute, minute and a half sitting here on the screen uh, doing its own thing. So when it gets here, just chill out and wait. Um, in the meantime, I'll just kind of explain um, how the compatibility thing works. So, especially with that, like, unable to enumerate device error, which is really common in more modern PCs. Basically, the uh, uh, when you try and launch Toy Story 2, it runs some sort of check to try and find compatible video card video cards or or, or what have you. And since the function's running is so old, it's it's just not finding the the newer cards or it's not picking them up as compatible, even if they are. And so basically, uh, what part of what the modified installer does is it copies over this program called DG Voodoo, which is basically just an emulator for old graphics cards. So it'll emulate an older graphics card that says it's compatible with what Toy Story 2 is looking for, and it'll pick that up and then it'll let you into the, the resolution selection and, and run the game and so on. Um, it does that as well as the modified installer also makes it so um, there are no cutscenes, but um, all your music and sound effects work like normal um, and whatnot. And then it also skips the uh, CD checking or whatnot, and it just stores everything uh, locally on the hard drive. All right. So when it finishes, it'll bring up the setup complete box here. Just click no. You don't need to restart. There's no reason to restart. And then. Come back to the install.exe window here, and press any button to continue, and it'll bring up, if you installed to the default directory, it'll bring up DG Voodoo itself for you, as well as the picture showing what to do, which basically, as the picture suggests, all you need to do is press that button there, and then click OK, and then you don't need the picture anymore, you can press any button to continue. Now, had you installed that to a custom directory, it wouldn't launch DG Voodoo for you automatically. You would have had to go where you installed it, and then right-click on DG Voodoo Setup.exe and click Run as Administrator, and then um, do those the same steps. Click those two buttons to to set the settings for that. And yeah, basically now it should be installed um, like normal. So now um, we can go to our install here and it's all installed. Now one thing, if you install to the default directory, one thing you're going to want to do is right click on the shortcut here, click properties, 
click Advanced, and then click Run as Administrator. Uh, when you install in the default directory, there's some compatibility issues with uh, the game having permissions to write in the Toy Story 2 program files directory and whatnot. So you basically, if you install it to the default directory in program files, you always want to run the game as an administrator. So the easiest way to do that, at least for me, is I just go to the shortcut and set it so that the shortcut always runs as an administrator. So now um, that I've set that, if we go back and click it, it'll ask us, hey, do you want to run this as an administrator? And I just click yes, since we've set the shortcut to do that. Now we'll give it a sec, and hey, now it launches into here. Now, without the DG Voodoo, it would have never gotten to this screen. But now that it's gotten to this screen, um, as we can see, we can select a device and uh, screen resolution and whatnot. Um, and sometimes even in here, you can still select your your physical cards themselves, actually. So actually, what I suggest trying first is select your physical card. And um, I say pretty much always choose a resolution of 800 by 600. I found that just works the best, generally. Um, and then uh, run it. Now, if it doesn't run, when you select your dedicated graphics cards, you can, uh, or dedicated graphics, it could be Intel HD graphics, it doesn't have to be a dedicated card per se. If it doesn't work, just go back and then select the DG Voodoo device instead, and just make sure it's hardware render in 800 by 600. And you should be able to, to get it up and running here. And so, I'll just give it a sec here. It loads in a few save files the installer does. But as you can see, the game is in fact running. Now, you can mess around with some of the settings in DG Voodoo and whatnot and on the selection screen to, to get the FPS running properly. In this particular configuration, I'm only, I can get the game running at 60, but I have to just mess around with some of the DG Voodoo settings. And that's pretty simple. All you have to do is Go to the install folder, so see program files, not x86, Disney Interactive, Toy Story 2, and the DG Voodoo setup here. Just make sure whenever you run it, you right click and run as administrator. Then click yes, and then you play around with some of these things. One of the ones I suggest is um, when you ask what adapter to use, um, you can try selecting just your dedicated or whatever your integrated Intel graphics or whatever here, clicking apply, and, and that'll help sometimes. Um, to get it to run at the proper 60 FPS. Um, or for compatibility reasons, if it doesn't launch at all when it's like that, you can go back and, and try all of them. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. And that's how to, how to run Toy Story 2 on uh, modern computers. Alright.